Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to take a portrait like this and turn it into this. So let's hop on into it. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is zoom in to those eyes and make sure that they are in focus. And boy oh boy are those eyes in focus, let me tell you. So, if the eyes are not in focus, then what you're going to want to do is you're gonna right click on this and you're gonna press remove photo. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go find your friend again and you're gonna retake this photo. So what I have here is my good friend Adam um, in a bush. Yep, that's exactly what this is. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start color correcting it, making it look nice um, according to how you think it looks nice. What I like to do once again is boost the shadows and crush the blacks, because that is more dynamic range, as you can see how much that has already like stood out like compared to that, to that. Oh yeah. So from there to there. There. Wow, it's flashing black. I don't know why it's flashing black. I think it's because I'm recording the screen and it can't really process what's going on. Negative 10 to make him look a little softer here, because it is still a portrait, even though we're going to make it look super dope. Um, a little bit up on the vibrance. Uh, I'm going to go like 15. And then 10 on the saturation. I don't really like saturation a lot. I'm probably gonna end up like taking that down. So then we're gonna plot onto our tone curve our shadows, midtones, and highlights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these blacks and we're going to make them gray. And that's a personal preference of mine, so I don't know, it's really up to you at that point. So moving into the HSL panel, I'm gonna take these leaves and I'm just gonna make them like orange and then what that's going to do is you can just drag that down with the slider and then I'm going to make the saturation hmm. I'm going to I'm going to keep it there looks good to me and then luminance is probably fine and I probably don't need to mess with that this is super 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 crucial so you're going to take your highlights and you're going to make them orange and then you're going to take your shadows and you're going to make them blue so now I like this blue, but I would also like it better a little bit more here. What I'm trying to do is get this to kind of be teal. Okay, I like that, that looks good. And then I'm gonna enable uh, profile correction so to get rid of that vignette around it, because as you can see, it leaves a vignette, which is nice if you're going for that vintage look, but I'm not right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make the blues in this picture teal. So, there we go. That was very easy, actually. So, what you can do here is just select any sort of blue that you see in the picture and then just make that more orange. What I'm doing now is just messing around with the sliders until I get a color that I like. And I, yeah, I like that, that looks cool. Okay, so now this looks great. This is the before and that's the after. So. Now this looks great, but we are missing something. And that is the eyes are now out of focus-ish looking. And I mean, they look great, they're vibrant, but they can look more vibrant. So what we're gonna do now is take your clarity brush and you're just gonna start coloring over the eyes. And if you wanna see what you're coloring, press O and you'll get a little red line to show you what's going on there. Cool, and then right up in this eye. Now this eye's a little bit more in the shadow, so I might go over it again with another brush. Or I might not, just to keep it consistent. And then boost the clarity and the exposure. A little bit, just a little bit. And then the highlights, also a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bring up the whites in his eyes too. Oh yeah, right there. So I'm okay with this, except for this little, these little pink tones that I'm getting here. So he still looks kind of, so he still looks kind of red to me. So I'm just gonna play around with the sliders and try to make him look less red. And, ooh, that looks good. All right, so this is the before and after. So as you can tell, there is a very big difference. What I've done here is an orange and teal look. Um, which is really popular in cinema. James Cameron uses it for every single one of his movies and it looks great. Um, and it looks great for a reason. It just boosts your, your highlights and shadows to 
like infinity and adds so much dynamic range and just like richness to the color. So this preset along with 19 others is available on my website. If you click the link in the description, you can purchase all of the presets. Whoa! So <laughs> I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that um, it helped. If you want more tutorials, let me know in the description. Thank you so much for the support. 